If you want to protect yourself, get a double barrel shotgun, have the shells of 12 gauge shotgun, and I promise you, as I told my wife, we live in an area that's wooded and somewhat secluded. I said, Jill, if there's ever a problem, just walk out on the balcony here or walk out, put that double barrel shotgun and fire two blasts outside the house. I promise you, who's ever coming in is not going to, you don't need an AR-15. It's harder to aim, it's harder to use, and in fact, you don't need 30 rounds to protect yourself. Buy a shotgun. Buy a shotgun. So I'm sitting on the john, I hear this bang. Caught literally with his pants down, an intruder breaking through his back door. Steve Getty had seconds to react. He crept through his bathroom, into his bedroom. Reached underneath my mattress, pulled up the shotgun, loaded up a chamber. Armed for confrontation, Getty walked toward his living room. It was literally right in my chest. First instinct is to move to the side. He grazed my shoulder on the first shot. I dropped the shotgun to the ground, so then I dove back down, grabbed the shotgun up, pulled it up as he was heading out the door, and took a shot at him, and just missed to the left of him. Getty's shotgun blasted 16 pellets and an 8-inch hole through his wall. The suspect got off two shots, one that went through Getty's shoulder. Catherine Getty worked out late Thursday, or she would have been confronting the suspect alone. So it could have been a completely different story that you're covering today. As it stands, it's a story of survival for this Alaskan-born gun enthusiast. Confirmation of a long-held belief. I believe that every homeowner should be able to be prepared for self-preservation in the event that something like this happens.